Okay, the sun is in my eyes here now, but there's a there's a building out there. There. See that building? Now, do you see that little knoll this side of that building? Now follow that tree line. The further away things get, the harder it is for me to hold the camera straight. Do you see that? Can you see that? That's rail bed there. Do you see it going across that field? And, and once it gets to the other end, it's going to die out into the farm field again. See it? Try and get a little closer. See that rail bed? show you that again because it's pretty cool. I wanted to get permission to kind of walk out on that guy's property and take a video maybe from the other side but uh, nobody's home so we're gonna have to settle for that. So rail bed. Don't see a thing here now do you? Look at that. This field is just wiped clean. See it? But you see that woods out there? That's real bad. Okay, here's another view of that rail bed over there in the field. It just amazes me how some sections it's gone. You'd never know it was there. Other sections it's there, and they just went around it. You see it? There's those elevators. That's Belchester. That's where we're headed. That's the rail bed right down in there. You don't really see it there. I'm trying to hold the camera steady. Like I say, the further out I go, the less control I have on my camera not on a tripod. There you go. Right in front of me, it looks like it's a baseball field, a little park, it's got some benches here. There's some slides and a little pavilion there to have a picnic and it's the back of some of those buildings and you know the buildings in this town go way back. This town was founded in uh, 1871. So when we talk railroad history, none of that was there. That's gone. You know what? That little white building there could have been there. That looks real old. But um, I think this is where I'm going to start. And I am going to show you around town just a little bit so you can see what this town looks like. So. Right there, I'm gonna just start off. You see that knoll right there in front of me? That knoll right there. Just follow that fence line as it goes out. Okay? That's our railroad. That's our railroad back, back in the day. So that's where I was. And I've moved up the street. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at these buildings here, but uh, there's that uh, elevators. And here, check out this sign. This is uh, Main Street out in front of me here. And we are on Great Western Avenue. Great Western Avenue is this road here. And we're gonna be heading out this way. But first, I wanted to show you these buildings.
That uh, elevator with all the walkways around it probably lines up, oh, maybe about where that those trees are there. And that'd be our railroad coming across. And you can see how the road's raised up. Well, back in the day, that road would have followed the grade. It wouldn't have been filled in and looking beautiful like it does today. So that's where our railroad's going through. And I'm going to put up an aerial photo first. And it's going to show a building here right out in front of us. And I don't have a photo of this building other than what's on this aerial photo. It's a Harpo photo. And it shows this building. And I'm believing that at one time during the life of this building, it had to be the depot for Belchester. So this is the spot that I believe the depot was, and I'm going to put up that information I have on it and that Harpo picture so you can see the, the picture of what I believe was the depot. There's my new buddy. That's my new buddy right there, yeah. Check him out. Cool looking, hey? Yeah. So right in this area is where I think the depot was. Our railroad. If I kind of line myself up again with that, with that tower out there. Now, yeah, I need a little window here. Nobody's perfect. But this is my railroad right here. It's gonna head out this way. Now I'd walk across the street, but all I'm gonna do is have trees in my photo. But after it gets across the street, it's gonna bend. It's gonna bend to the right. So I moved down the street again. You can see out there, right, right in there, that's all clay pits. And there's a picture of the rigging with this town here in the background. And uh, probably some of these buildings were here then. So that was the cut from Belchester, so you can't, it's all overgrown now, but it cut through here and then went up on the, basically where our driveway is. All right, so that's the railroad cut. Yeah, so that, that went all the way down to Belchester. All right, and then, um, so then, so then this is the, this is the, ba basically the old bed, because I got a picture going this way. And this used to be not as high over here, so they filled a lot in from, from topsoil they removed. So back at this cut now, you can see, you can see that low spot, you can yeah. see. You can see it real easy. So that's the cut, that's, this is that spur coming from Belchester. 
So I'm following Mike. He's the uh, fellow that owns this land now. He's actually got a farm here. And he raises sheep and pigs. And uh, I met his wife the other day when I was looking to get permission. And she said to uh, talk to her husband, Mike. So I came up here today. So this is my second time in Belchester. And uh, it's pretty cool stuff. We're on the railroad bed, by the way, just so you know, and it's it's heading out there. So this is the rail bed. Yeah. You can see it here. Here's the driveway. Yeah. So this is that spur. That's Mike. <laughs> Say hello, Mike. <laughs> hello. You mind being on camera? No, that's fine. So the this, from what I know, and again, I obviously this is all hearsay from people who weren't around. I think the, I think the, the one that went all the way to Belchester, I think it ran back to here. It ended, it ended somewhere in here. I'm not somewhere exactly in sure. here, yeah. Well, I've looked at it on uh, an aerial photo from 1938, and it looks like it kind of ends just about, just about back here. Yeah, my guess is it basically went to where the spur was. Yeah. So we're at the spur. We're at the end of the spur, near the end of the spur. And there's a photo that I'm going to plug in. And it's going to show the rigging. I don't know what you were, the tower for the rigging. Yeah, that's right. And uh, those were on tracks. So if the railroad track was going this way, that tower would have been on another track that moved through the. Uh, the pits, and uh, I'm gonna put up another photo so you can see that. And that track would have been right about here. And uh, this is why I'm gonna take a, a photo from the far end of his place here and show you what that tower looked like. That's the other tower we're talking about. Uh, with the town of uh, of uh, Belchester in the background because from in this woods, if I was to do that sort of thing, you wouldn't see anything but woods. Yeah, so now we're, we are deep in the pits. So we're back, you can see the field back behind me. And this is the area of where the cistern was. And uh, this would have been uh, probably a, the pump house and where the water came from to run those, those towers. Uh, go back to that photo of the tower on that rail system in order to move that tower, there was a steam engine involved. And uh, this is where all that water to run that came from back in the day. You know, all the buildings are gone, of course, and many of the foundations. So that makes that awesome. Excuse me, the tower on the on the west, he said at one point in time he thinks they actually moved that north Okay. everything else. Yeah. You can see the land. We're, 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 we're walking deeper into the pits and, and the grade is, is going down. So over time, a lot of it's silted in, but there used to be about four or five feet of water in the bottom of it. So a lot of these holes are a lot deeper than others, and uh, 
This is one of them that back in the day hit water. And uh, Mike was saying that uh, it's pretty dried up now, but at one time there was, you know, four, five, six feet of water down in there. So this is a drain that's going to run underneath these hills and mounds, you see, and it's going to come out underneath the driveway. So when I get back to the truck, I'll show you where that, where that came out at. Thirty-three acres. Look at this place. It's just never ending. Every time we get to another where I think the end of the trail is, we take another turn. So this was one of the last, or if not the last, pit that they dug before they closed. And uh, it's, it's deeper than what you think. And uh, Mike was telling me stories of when he was a kid catching bullhead in here. So, pretty cool. So that's where we were, that was the newest pit. And we're coming out of the woods now. So the, this was all pit area. And I think, I think this is where I'm going to plug in this photo because, uh, oh, there's been some old talk that the riggers were in this area. Picture. I'm going to say it was taken from right about here. So I am back where we started from and we wound up way out there. Boy, I can't tell you how far out we were. And uh, I showed you that drain. And that drain is all the way, it's underneath the ground back here, even in this low spot. And we're on the real bed now. And uh, I know I said I'd show you where that drain came out at. And here it is down here. No, I'm not going to go in there. He's got an electric fence here and he's got some pigs that run around in here. So, but that's where he came out at. It's our railroad. Don't stop. Okay, we visited the clay pits. This is probably the frosting on the cake for this one. I need to thank uh, Mike and his wife, Amanda and his faithful dog, Rusty, <laughs> for bringing me out in the pits. This was just awesome. So I'll see you on my next one. God bless you all. You guys have a great day.